Welcome to the Ventus MX4 online training module number 5. In this module, we will be discussing the data logging option within the instrument. Data logging is a method of storing gas readings electronically in the instrument's memory. These readings can be downloaded to a computer for later reference and printout. The Ventus MX4 also allows for calculations of TWA, time weighted averages, and STEL, short term exposure limit, for averaging gas concentrations over a particular time period. All data log information can be viewed from a computer after downloading has occurred. The Ventus MX4 can hold approximately three months of data for a four gas configuration. Readings are time stamped and are stored in a first in, first out FIFO queue. The Ventus MX4 has two data logging modes, the standard data log and the alarm event data log. With the standard data log, the Ventus MX4 performs data logging at 10 second intervals and can hold approximately three months of data for a four sensor configuration. Readings are time stamped and stored in a first in, first out FIFO queue that is overwritten when full. With alarm event data log, the Ventus MX4 will only data log when the Ventus MX4 is in alarm. It records and saves the last 24 events. This information is useful if users only concern is when the instrument is in an alarm. This data can also be exported to a printer to give the user a hard copy. The data log can be downloaded to a PC via a software package and a charger data link, DS2 docking station, or a VCAL station. This video will show you how to insert the Ventus MX4 into the data link accessory. It is very important to make sure the Ventus MX4 is facing towards the front of the data link. After inserting the Ventus MX4 into the data link accessory, the user must now locate the Industrial Scientific Accessory Software icon and double click on that icon. If the user cannot easily locate the Industrial Scientific Accessory Software icon, they can click on the Start button on your computer's taskbar, then click on Programs. From the Programs tab, locate the Industrial Scientific Corporation tab and click on it. Once the program has launched, double check that the MX4 is selected under Instrument drop-down. Ensure that the IR Data Link Cradle is selected under the Using tab. The reason this is important is because there are two options. One is for the Infrared Data Link Cradle, which we explained a little earlier, and the other option is for the VCAL station, which we can connect to the computer using a USB connection. In this example, we are using the infrared data link accessory. The VCAL station will be described in further detail under its own module, which is module number 9 of this series. Ensure the proper communication port is selected in the drop-down. After the user has ensured that all the selections are correct and the Ventus MX4 is inserted in the data link, they can now select the Connect button to establish connection with the Ventus MX4. This is the main screen for the software. The section on the left is where the user will find the Ventus MX4 current configuration. The section on the right allows the user to change a few options for the Ventus MX4, such as calibration interval, and configuration access code. If any changes were made, be sure to select the Update button to save those changes. Clicking on the Options tab will bring the user to this screen. The Options screen allows the user to configure the instrument to their particular needs. 
The settings on the right can be configured by checking the box next to the corresponding feature. A check mark in the box means that particular feature is enabled. One without a check mark means that feature is disabled. If any changes were made, be sure to select the Update button to save those changes. Clicking on the User Insights tab will bring the user to this screen. The Active User box allows for adding a username in the Ventus MX4. The Active Site box allows for adding in a site in the Ventus MX4. If a user or site was added or changed, be sure to select the Update button to save those changes. Clicking on the Components tab will bring the user to this screen. The Components tab will show the individual sensors installed in the MX4. It will also show the corresponding serial number. Highlight a sensor by clicking on it and then select the Open button. This will open the individual sensor information currently inside the Ventus MX4. From this screen, the user can change the high, the low, the STEL, and TWA alarms for this particular gas. The calibration gas can also be changed. Select the OK button to escape out of this screen. If any changes were made to the previous screen values, be sure to select the Update button to save those changes. Clicking on the Event Log tab will bring the user to this screen. This tab allows downloading, viewing, and printing of logged events that are stored in the instrument. Click on the Download button to download a file of the last 24 alarm events. After the download, a file will appear in the log file. Highlight the downloaded file and select the Open File button to view all stored alarm events. This is a report of the downloaded alarm events. It shows the alarm time, alarm duration, sensor that went into alarm, sensor serial number, high and low alarm set points, and the peak reading. Also shown in the table would be an active user and site if there was one entered in the Ventus MX4. This report can be saved or printed if a hard copy is desired. Clicking on the data logging tab will bring the user to this screen. Selecting the download button will download any new session of data from the Ventus MX4. All new sessions will be downloaded and displayed under the session file. Highlight a file to be viewed by clicking on the session. Select the Open File button to further evaluate the session. The user can add comments that pertain to this session in the Comments box. Highlight a sensor and click on the Detail button for additional information. Here you can see that one period has been created for the hydrogen sulfide sensor under this session. Also notice that there are 138 instantaneous readings that have been recorded. The start time and end time of this period are also shown here. The user can select the detail button to look at all 138 instantaneous readings of hydrogen sulfide in this period. This is a list of all 138 instantaneous readings of hydrogen sulfide. Notice the very first reading is in red. This is an indication that the instrument was in alarm condition. Returning to the session that has been downloaded, selecting the print button will print a hard copy document for period one. This is a picture of the printed document for period one. Notice again at the first two readings the instrument was in an alarm condition. Returning to the session that has been downloaded, selecting the graph button will provide a detail of the period graphically. 
This is a graphical display of all the sensors and their readings for that time period. Returning to the session that has been downloaded, selecting the Compare button will allow comparing of data of other sessions. Selecting the Export button allows the data to be exported and saved to a file. To save the file, select the folder to save it in, name the file, and select the Save button.